Hi, Dr. Minkoff here. Today I want to talk about something really important and I want you to pay very close attention to this. If you want to live long, okay, most people want to live long, which is right, you need to come up with the ultimate anti-aging strategy. And the ultimate aging strategy is don't get killed too early by something that you could have avoided, okay? Number one on the list is pharmaceutical medication, okay? This is the third leading cause of death in the United States, okay? Heart disease, cancer, prescription drugs. So if you eat right and exercise and take care of yourself, you can avoid the first two pretty well, okay? You need supplementation, you need to avoid toxins, but pretty well you can avoid those two. The third one, the way you avoid it, is by doing the first two preventively. You eat well and you take care of yourself. Then you avoid getting on prescription drugs. They are the biggest risk to your health that I know of, okay? Now this, I just came across this. University of San Diego, published in a real journal, okay? A real journal, Annals of Psychotherapy. It says, the expenses from medication failures and new issues coming from medications costs a total of $495 to $672 billion per year. That is an incredible amount of money. It's half a trillion dollars to clean up the problems from people taking medication. Now these medications are legal, they're prescribed by professionals, and patients take them and they have medical failures and new issues coming from the medical from these drugs to the tune of a half a trillion dollars a year. Now that is not good medicine. In fact, it's terrible medicine. It's the opposite of Hippocrates and a Hippocratic oath. First of all, do no harm. Primary known nocere. First of all, as a doctor, do no harm. Okay? This is all harm. Now, this results in their data, 275,689 deaths per year from this. Now, that is a huge number of people. I've used this analogy before, but let's just say it again on here. Let's take a 40, 747 jet. Holds about 275 people, passengers. What if in one year, a thousand of them crashed while taking 275 people somewhere? So that's three a day, right? So what if you open up the newspaper every morning Okay, three more 747s crashed yesterday. And then the next day, three more 747s crashed yesterday. And then three more 747s crashed yesterday. Would you get on an airplane and fly to New York or fly to California? I wouldn't. I'd figure out some other way to do it. The casualty rate is just way too high. It's too dangerous. Yet this is going on from what supposedly is the best medical care in the world. It's not, because this is its major statistic. This is the problem with it. It's people are over-drugged, they're over-diagnosed, and they're given things that are harmful to them. So if you want to live a long time, watch out for drugs, okay? There's almost always a better solution. Now, if you're going to the emergency room and you broke your leg and you needed something for pain, of course, okay? Or you have uncontrollable high blood pressure and you need a medication for a while to get you through, of course, I'm not talking about that. And most of this stuff isn't acute emergencies. It's people who are put on medication long-term for things that if they just ate better and slept better and drank more water and took their vitamins, they wouldn't need to do it, okay? So this is a huge thing. I am yelling this to you 
because this is the thing that is going to shorten your life more likely than anything else, especially if you're taking care of yourself. Okay? So please take it to mind. I hope this helps. Now, I want to make sure you understand that this information is coming from a very reputable source. This isn't an alternative medicine source, okay? This isn't an underground uh, trying to give people information. This was written or published in 2018. So this is brand new. This just came out, okay? Uh, it's called Cost of Prescription Drug-Related Morbidity and Mortality Annals of Pharmacotherapy, okay? So this is a real data, this is real information, and this is real important. And I want to just add one more thing on this, is the regulatory bodies that oversee medicines and, and medicine ought to be paying hardcore attention to this, because this is a tragedy of huge proportions. Okay, The idea of the FDA and of the regulatory laws of state boards are that they protect people from bad medicine. It's a high responsibility. And yet with 275,000 people dying every year as a result of medicine, it is really an enormous failure to protect people from medicines and medical practices that are causing this effect. And so that's really important that that should be looked at and saying, oh my God, we have an enormous tragedy going on here. We better start looking at what is happening with this because we're entrusted to protect our citizens from treatment causing them to die. And a half a trillion dollars to be spent on handling the problems that these cause. So you must take this to heart on your own, but then you must also take it to heart of, we need to make some noise about this because this is not okay.